some what were some of the, the biggest things that you worked on uh, this off season? I think just like going to summer ball and like kind of understanding who I was a pitcher. I feel like coming out of high school, like I almost tried to do too much, and then going to summer ball, um, kind of being more individualized. Like a lot of time to understand who I was and that that what I did in high school, like plays at this level. And once I understood that, like I took a big leap forward. What are you looking forward to the most uh, about Saturday night, Saturday afternoon? Um, I feel like just I, I've been here two years. I haven't got my start yet, so finally getting that under my belt and uh, kind of just I guess not coming out of the bullpen. I, the routine preparation work leading up to it is a lot different too. So that's something I'm looking forward to. You know, like I haven't experienced that since high school, and even a high school start is not similar to a college start. Yeah, what, what's your routine like? You know, getting ready for a start be, or going to be because obviously I'm sure in high school you know you were going to school all day and doing. Yeah. Well, you're not now, but. You know, not that you're not now, yeah. but you know, what's that routine been like and what advice have you gotten from, from JD and Laz and from other starters? Yeah, I mean, that's been huge. Like, uh, we have a lot of like guys working around. So Laz, JD, HR, and we got uh, like a few new guys working here, like Brock and Alex. But uh, those guys have been huge helping us like prepare for the week and stuff. And then also looking at a guy like Gage, who's, who's been there and done that and he's had success. So as, as probably my best friend in the world, um, I can go to him when I need help with something or what works for him and, and kind of when HR covers the basics thing, he'll go in a deeper dive because I have the more time with him. Yeah. What, just what did that Texas game do for you individually, personally? I mean, yeah, I think that like kind of was the, the finishing touches of last year because I had my little like spurts of, of going out there and competing and uh, kind of giving it what I got. But that kind of all got like cluttered together in seven innings. and. When that happened, it was kind of like inning by inning, JD was like, are you good for one more? Until it ended up being that seven times. So it was like, I was taking it inning by inning. And then once I saw, like at the end of the game, I'm looking in the sixth inning and then it's the seventh inning, eighth and the ninth come. And just like seeing there and like that team could have easily been in Omaha. They had an unfortunate ending. So knowing that it's just like, yeah, I, I belong here. And, and once I took that, I ran with it. Rave, can you tell me about the meaning of the 16 on your own? Yeah, that's for my dad. So my dad was my dad played hockey. So he uh, it's 16 was his number, and it's in New York Rangers font. So like that's just kind of a nod to him. And the 13 stars. My mom's from Philadelphia, so the 76ers kind of go uh, the 13 stars around the number. So it's like my parents collabed into one tattoo. I got something similar. Oh, that's fire! Yeah, yeah, that's fire. Cool. Anything else for Ray? Awesome. Thanks, Ray. Thank you, guys.